南西区読平等制裁同骨母大臣王女安楽国 It is our vow that with these virtues equally sharing with all giving rise to the same heart of aspiring to become a Buddha go to be born into the country of assurance and bliss Namandasa The passage that I'm quoting from is something that I'm sure that everyone is familiar with. These are the words that we know as the ekomon, or the passage that we finish all or most of our chants with. The reason I wanted to share this particular passage today was because of a recent discussion that we had. With our young adults who have been meeting regularly, especially during this COVID 19 crisis. During these now monthly gatherings, the discussion was do we really need to know the meaning of these words? Now, we don't necessarily need to know the meaning of The words. However, there is a reason why the tradition works so hard to help assure that we have access to these words, that we are able to hear these words regularly and constantly. These words are that significant. As Jodo Shinshu Buddhists. Chanting is not unimportant, but is not as important as coming to understand what one is participating in, what one is a part of, to be embraced in the heart of wisdom and compassion that we hear as Namo Ami Dabutsu. In this, I'd like to share once again a very, very famous story of something that happened not too, too long ago. It involves a younger priest who ventured out to speak at another temple. In starting his career, As a speaking minister, he went to one particular temple and was very, very nervous about giving his message. While he gave his message, he noticed that there was an elderly woman that sat in the front and she was sitting there and listening to him intently and regularly. She would be putting her hands together and saying, Nam Man Dabs, Nam Man Dabs, Nam Man Dabs. Encouraged by this reaction, the young priest gained more and more confidence in giving his message because there was obviously a woman in attendance who was moved by his message. He spoke, she continued to repeat, Nam man dabs, nam man dabs. The priest continued to be encouraged. Finally, the message came to an end, and he was quite pleased with how things went on his very first outing. After the service, the resident priest of the temple that invited him asked him if there was anything that He would like. At which time the young minister said, There was an elderly woman that sat in the front. I wonder if I might be able to speak to her. And the resident priest said, Oh, 
you must mean so and so. I'll get her for you. And in a short while, he did bring that elderly woman. At which time the young priest said, Thank you very much for coming to service and listening to my message. I'd like to ask you, however, which part of the message did you find most moving? At which time the elderly woman replied by saying, I'm sorry, I cannot hear. This is a story that helps us to see that it is more than words that we are listening to. This woman was moved by the fact that there was a service that she can attend, that there was a priest who was willing to come from a distance to share his appreciation of the Nembutsu, that there was a temple, a place to gather, where the Nembutsu can and is shared openly, regularly, freely. All these things moved this woman. And in coming to recognize and realize that this is a part of what she was participating in, how else could she react but to say, Namu Amida Butsu? It is not necessarily important for us to know the meaning of the words of something like the Ekomun. But these words are trying to help us to understand what it is that we are participating in why generations worked so hard, so much, to help us to meet with these words, to help us to participate in a tradition that has survived centuries, millennia. To know that those that came before us made this vow to make sure that they can share this teaching with all of us so that each and every one of us will be able to aspire to become a Buddha, to be able to share our lives with everyone as equals and to know that this life of ours is embraced in assurance that this life of ours is blissful, that it is a joy to be able to share one's life, especially in coming to recognize how much all those who lived a human life before us continue to share and give to each and every one of us, how we are all allowed to hear with this thought, I would like to conclude my message. Please let me take this opportunity to once again thank everyone for continuing to join us on these video messages. The COVID-19 crisis is continuing. So please stay safe. Please be well. And hopefully we will be able to meet at the temple in the not too distant future. Thank you. Namanda, Namanda.